My name is Dennis Brummeyer, and I am a, I've been doing carpenter work for 25 some odd years, house repair, home maintenance, uh, home remodeling. And I'm going to show you today how to put base trim around a bull nose or a rounded corner. You don't see it very often, but sometimes you'll see it in, in your upper, uh, upper priced homes. They'll have a, a, instead of a square corner, they'll have a round. So I'm going to show you how to put your trim around that. Um, typically the way I start is I will you, if you look at the corner, you can kind of see where where the corner starts. And I'll typically take and make a, just a little line there on both sides. And that, it's just easier to look at for me. I, I don't know, you know. So what you're going to do, and what I have found is I... I go about five sixteenths of an inch past that line. That's what seems to work. Um, you might have to adjust that a little bit. So we're at 42 and 5 eighths. So we're going to go uh, 42 and 15 sixteenths. And then on the other side, it's 4 and 3 quarters. So we're going to go 5 and a sixteenth. So we're going to cut our first piece, and we cut it at 22 and a half degrees. Um, so I'll show you how to do that, and uh, we'll go outside and do that. Okay, so what we're going to do, this actually got a cope at one end, so I've got that cut, and it was 42 and 15 sixteenths. So you're going to want that to be marked at the top. So you're going to have to transfer your measurement to the top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it up on the miter saw. Again, you're going to cut it at 22 and a half degrees. And you're going to line your blade up with where... Can you zoom in on that and see that? You see it okay? Okay. And you're going to want it to... You might even just start your saw and bring it down on it real slow just to see wait for your saw blade to stop so it doesn't get caught up in it and raise it up and we're pretty good there and what I usually do I sand off my hair make it get a little better Now you're going to cut the other side. What did we say it was? Five and a five and a sixteen. Got a piece of scrap here, and it's going flat. So let me square that up a little bit. Five and a sixteen. Okay, so we're going to put an angle on it the opposite direction, 22 and a half degrees. And again, you're going to line your saw blade up with the mark. Get your fingers in there. Stand your hairs off. So to go better. Now the next piece, uh, we're going to cut. I usually I start out. It's going to vary a little bit. Um, the the center piece because they're not going to match up perfect. The center piece is going to be. I start out at nine sixteenths of an inch wide on the short side. So what we'll do is we'll cut this off. measure our, again, if you go ahead and knock your hairs off, knock your hairs off, it gives you a good straight line to go by, and you're going to measure 9 sixteenths of an inch. Make your little mark on the top, 
Now it's going to cut it the opposite direction. Now when you, after you've cut through, you're going to want your blade to stop before you pick up because it can pick up the, pick up your piece and throw it. Then you got to start over. It might hurt you too. Let the blade stop and lift it back up and you can knock your hairs off. Okay, so let's go inside and see how it fits. Like I say, it's kind of trial and error kind of thing. So uh, we'll go inside and try it. And if we have to make adjustments, well, then we have to make adjustments. So, we'll Okay, it's going to turn out that these are just a hair long. Uh, we take our piece and we put it in there and, and it doesn't fit. So it's not necessarily that this one's too big. It could be that these are too long. And the way you can kind of check that is if you look at the, the curvature of the wall and then try and run a, a line from this corner to that corner and there's about a sixteenth of an inch difference between you know the round part of the wall and that line. So you're going to want to cut this off because you're going to want this piece to end up flat against your trim or against your wall, the corner. So we're going to go out and trim these off about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, what it turns out, we've probably gone a quarter of an inch instead of five sixteenths. So we took off about a sixteenth of an inch on both sides. And now we've got it to where it fits pretty good. It's going to sit in there like that. And it's out just a little bit, but you can sand that off with a file or a sanding block or something. So let me go ahead and get this nailed and uh, I'm going to get you to come and help me push this down because we've got a little hump in the floor here. So just push down on here. See how we fit. Okay, it's it's a little tight, uh, but I, I think it'll work. We could make this a little smaller, I believe, and and it fit in there fine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead now that we got it nailed and good and tight. This is piece is a little big, so we're going to make cut a smaller one. And that's about all you can do. You can just it's just one of them trial and error things. It seems like every one of these corners are different. So I, I start out with a base and then I go from there. So let me go cut another small, make this a little smaller and we'll see how well it fits. We've got our piece and it fits about perfect at the top, but we're sticking out just a little bit on, the, on this side at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a chisel and I wanna kinda go in behind the trim Pry it out just a tad bit. Let's see if we can get that in there tight. And it'll probably go just a little bit more. And that is about as good as it's going to get. And what you'll do is we'll take some glue and put that in there. Let me grab some glue. And it'll just about stay in there just by itself, just pressure. So 
We're going to put a little glue on there. She just threw a rag at me. Spread her glue around a little bit. I'm going to take her glue and her piece and put it back in there. Line it up. Get your wet rag. Wipe up your glue. You're going to have glue, glue, you know, glue out a little bit. Just take a wet rag and kind of wipe it off. So that's how you do a bull nose or a rounded corner. Um, like I say it's kind of a trial and error thing, but got a little bit of patience, you can do it.